Hi everyone and welcome to Calm Creations Craft Tube Floss Tube. My name is Tia and this is my little channel where I share all my crafty bits and pieces and things that I've been up to. So first of all, happy 1st of December. It is, you know, now we're starting to get into the, um, you know, into the silly season and everyone's getting busy and um, getting all, all ready so this is my favorite season I love Christmas I love all things Christmas I love you know the kids all being home the food the presents all being together it's just such a um, my favorite holiday so let's start with virtual hugs First of all is Mel from Patchy Pony Stitcher, Emily, Darren and Rainbows and Stitching. Thank you very much for your wonderful comments. I really do appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me and taking the time to comment. Um, it really means a lot. So thank you very much. Um, right, mindfulness cards. Let's do that. What have we got? Awareness. Okay. Practice employing a bird's eye view towards both the big and little things in life. Next time you are challenged by a negative emotion or difficult situation, try looking at the bigger picture and see if that the challenge itself is quite limited. The more space you give yourself, the more the negative emotions that come along with the challenge will lessen. Bird's eye view. Right. So I think that goes there. That's interesting. Okay. Who are you? Who are you? Right. Self-awareness. What in your life are you most grateful for? I'm grateful for everything that I'm presented with. You know, you learn lessons, you, um, everything teaches you something. And, I've, yeah, I'm grateful for the lessons I've learnt. Okay. Those are our cards. What have we got next? Okay, travel stitching. Let's have a look. I've done a bit like tiny weeny teeny tiny weeny bit so the piece that I've got as my current um, travel stitching is Wouldn't Life Be Great by Lizzie Kate and I will put a picture in of where I was up to the last time you saw it because I've been taking photos right so this is the one that I'm working on is my travel stitching piece and this is where I'm up to all I've done is this little part around here going great guns so that is that I'll put it down there and I'll try and put the other picture up the top okay that's not even worth looking at, but stitching is stitching. So put that there. So that's that one. And then the next one is my piece that I'm doing with the Fat Quarter Shop, and it is called A Year of Celebrations Continues Season 2 by. Uh, hands on design and that's what it is there and I'm still down here in this November block I should be I'm behind on this one I should be starting the December block today but I'm not so let's take that needle out of there and put it up there okay Now, last 
last time you saw it I had done um, all of that part there and then I'm starting down here on the turkey's wings. Again, very poor attempt. I need to knuckle down and get this one done. So that is that one. Right, what have we got next? Um, last week's stitching was... Oh, I forgot to show you last week my progress from the week before on Celtic Christmas. So, here's what I've done. Again, not a lot. So, I've come done part of her, I think that's her arm, and coming down her dress, and then I've done going up. This is on that beautiful sparkly fabric. So that's Celtic Christmas by Lavender and Ace. Okay. Right, so last week's stitching was Colours of the Season by... Carolyn Manning and I'll show you Oop, what I've done. Just put that on there. I've done a little bit on this, not an awful lot. But I'll pop in a picture of where I was and where I am now. So this is the winter block. It's got four different blocks, one for um, each season, and I'm doing the winter. Which is this one. And I've changed out some of the colours because I didn't have them. Um, but I'm loving it so far. So that's what I've done on that one again not a lot but that is that one okay next is um, so that was last week's stitching this week's stitching is um, a heaven and earth designs piece it is called centre for dark waters and bright skies and it will look like that but I'll be cropping it just to the width of my fabric um, it doesn't matter where I stop um, because it's just all the same and the artwork is by Selena Fenich and this is what it, my start looks like and where I will be going from here so this was started on the 2nd of April 21 and it's just on an 18 count Ada. So that is that one. Okay, and then next week's stitching will be is another Heaven and Earth Designs piece and this is Chocolate, Chocolate and More Chocolate by Randall Spangler and it's on 18 Count Ada and I started it on the 18th of July 2021 and here is where I'm up to yeah, I can see you through there So that's the full size of the piece. Um, and he's just looking so cute. So that's the, the bowl down the bottom. All the big chocolate bubbles up here. But that is next week's stitching. 
Okay, and then I've done a little bit more on my Christmas 2, which is by Ciro Marchetti, and this is done on 18 count easy guide fabric. Um, and I'm doing it one over one full cross. One, no, I'm not. Yes, I am. And this is where I'm up to. So I've filled in all down there and I'm slowly working my way down to get it even with here and then I will be able to fully adapt the royal rose method which I've already started here but the detail oh, I just love it so let me show you what that looks like what it's going to look like in 200 years time because it's huge so that's it there and I'm way up there in that little corner I'll go that way and then I might focus there we go how cute is that it is just, look at those little puppies so yes that is my main piece and will be my main piece next year that I will be working on uh, whenever, whenever I can. So that one will be getting stitched a lot next year as well. Okay, so I don't have any haul. Um, plans, okay. Oh, I've got a little start and a little finish and a little FFO all in one. So let me show you that. So every year I make ornaments for my family. So I make 11. So that's my five children, my three grandchildren, that's eight, my husband and I, that's 10, and the dog. So everybody gets one. Um, and I was playing around with a prototype of something I thought I may like to make. I don't, I'm not entirely happy with it. So I may rethink this year's ornaments. But I made a little drum. So it's just white on, the, I haven't decorated it yet. And I've stitched on the red Ada two strands of gold DMC and made it into a drum. So how I made this is I bought home from work a big tube. Like this is huge. Anyway, um, you can see I've cut off the top. So I've cut off two inches off here and then I've covered it in a bit of leftover jelly roll strip so if that's two inches and a jelly roll strips two and a half so it gave me a quarter of an inch either side to tuck in um, but I don't know don't know but I've made a drum so that's that I will rethink how I'm going to what I'm going to do for ornaments this year. Um, today being the 1st of December, I will be having a new start and it will be Kiwi Christmas by Frog Cottage Designs. Um, Deb designed this for me um, and so kindly gave me two copies to give away. They've both been um, drawn in one, so I will be starting mine today. I can't wait. Um, and it will match my Aussie Christmas piece with all the Aussie animals. So that will be getting started today. Um, I think that's the end of that pile. So that's that. Um, I've 
got my stitchy planner um, getting it sorted for next year so I was watching Lisa from um, Paddock Lane Designs and she bought a new planner from Kmart and I thought ah oh, that's perfect so um, when my son was at Westfield the other day I got him to grab me one and it's a 2023 planner and it was spiral bound so I took the spiral off and I converted it to a happy planner system um, because I like this system you can move things around and so I've stuck um, I've punched all the pages and, and stuck them in it's a bit hard to show you because it's so big um, I like this part here this here stretches out I'm trying to find the page and this is where I put all my whips so that's their birthdays um, but when you get the planner that page is at the back so the beauty of the happy planner is you can rearrange the paint pages to how you want them so I wanted it at the front so that's all done um, I've got my stitching goals for next year and um, my list of all my projects so I'm currently at what are we um, 37 no 36 whips and then I'll be starting no hang on trouble to 67 37 so I'm currently at 37 I'll have a new start today which is 38 and then I'm going to be restarting one of my haids that I started on 25 count that I'm going to restart because I hadn't done very much and restart it on 18 count so that's that and then um, you just go into just your normal planner pages so and I've taken my dashboard out of this clear dashboard that I made I've taken that out of my other planner and stuck it in here so I always know where I'm up to so that's my planner plans so I'm happy with that um, what else I think that's all for stitching. Right, I've done a tiny bit of um, sewing on my Summer Sampler Christmas quilt. All the blocks are finished and I've added the borders. So they're all got a red border like that. So I should quickly go through them all. Flying geese, that one. That one there's a bit wonky and a bit how you're going, but that's mine. That one. Little basket. That one. That one. That one. Square and square and something else. That one, these aren't even squared up yet, I've just added the borders, so I've got to trim them up. That one. That one. That one looks like a hexagon, now that I'm looking at it. Right, and then that one. And then the last one um, is a log cabin. And this one has the um, sashing on it and the cornerstones. I've never done cornerstones before, but there's that one there. So they'll all have these white sashing strips added and cornerstones. And then I'll be able to put the rows together. They'll be three by four. Um, 
and I hope to get that finished in the next couple of days, who knows. Um, what else? I haven't done any more in my December daily journal yet. Um, things have just been crazy at work. School's all finished now for the year uh, for Lennon. Um, so that's all done. Um, work's just crazy. The weather's been weird today. It's well, it was 17 degrees, and that is just my ideal weather temperature. So, um, and it's a bit windy outside um, and raining. So, anyway, I'm going to head off now and go and I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe start my Kiwi Christmas. I hope you all have a wonderful stitchy week and I will see you all again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.